Summer is the peak of travel season, and if you are looking ahead to planning your next trip, BBB Serving Western Virginia has everything you need to know from maybe picking the perfect flight to avoiding unnecessary hidden fees. The president of the Better Business Bureau Serving Western Virginia, Julie Wheeler, is here to break it all down for us. Thank you for joining us on Here at Home, Julie. Absolutely. You always have great advice. I was actually just online looking for flights oh, last okay. night, did not buy one, so this is very relevant for me and a lot of other folks. Very good. Okay, finding the best and most affordable flight, that's what everybody wants to do. Um, what should someone look out for if they see, wow, this is a really good price? Be very careful of clicking on ones that are ads that pop up when you do a search for cheap air flights or whatever. A lot of times those are fake sites and are going to take you down a path you don't want to go. Um, you're always best to, if you're going to use a third party, you want to use one that you've heard of before, you want to type in the URL, um, or you want to go directly to that airline site. Okay, because you need to kind of get a feel for what the schedule is to see if what's popping up as an op option um, on another side is actually a flight that they offer mm -hmm. because they're not all created equal. Um, the, the third party sites definitely are not and there's a lot of fake ones out there that are just trying to get your information or they're gonna say you have a flight and then come back and say it's canceled um, and just do a lot of things that you're not gonna end up with a flight or you're gonna end up paying a lot more money. And I know sometimes if you do make a, a reservation on a third party site, and then there's a problem you don't know you're not dealing directly with the airline so you might not get your money back exactly correct? and they won't help you it's very it's very tough if you have a third party that said call them you know mm -hmm. and then they'll work mm -hmm. through try to work through it so if you're in an airport you want to be able to go up to the counter and say okay now what do i do right because they won't rebook so you know i, I um, made that mistake once and used a third party site and that was the only time so i i, I stay on the um, airline sites i use them to find out what the schedules are and then go directly to the airline that looks like it has the best opportunity for that's me that's what i do too that's a good mm -hmm. tip okay what red flags should we uh, keep an eye out for um well, when booking cheap tickets, you are, are there certain, we always hear certain days of the week, things like that. Is that uh, true to certain times are better to look for a flight than others? Well, a days like Tuesday is, used to be the lightest flight day. So you can get a better deal if you're willing to travel on a Tuesday. Obviously the weekends are mm. the most, the busiest are gonna be the higher rate typically. Okay. The more um, further in advance you can book, the more likely you are to get a better rate because they do have certain number of tickets at different rate levels. Um, and the closer you get, typically the higher those rates go. So, um, you know, you want to be on a legitimate site, frankly. It's, that's the biggest thing I can say to you is you, if you can deal directly with the airline, you're going to be safer and um, happier down the road. Okay, that makes sense. Talk about hidden fees. Um, what hidden fees are there when it comes to booking travel and booking flights that people, hey, I wasn't planning on this. Well, some of the discount airlines, okay, that you get a ticket and it's at this price, okay, then you have to pay to, to get a seat, not just a special seat, but a seat. Just to sit on the plane? <laughs> yeah, to get a drink to be able to board within a time frame. I mean, and to have a personal item, you know, they really, the discount airlines will really add on the stuff. So you wanna know exactly what's included. So look at your fare code. Does it, can you carry a personal item? Can you carry a carry on or do you have to pay an extra fee for it? Um, do you get a seat assignment or, you know, is it kind of the luck of the draw? Because truly they are not all created equal. And by the time they add in all those fees, you may have been better to go a different route. And some of these are some of the major airlines. I know I was on a site last week and it said uh, personal item included. So if you wanted to take a carry on, it was a good price for the flight, but was it really a good price unless you can yes. stuff everything you need into a very small bag? Exactly. Yeah. Because then you've got to add, yeah, add a carry on fee and there you then go. Then you've got more fees on there. Mm -hmm. There's something called, um, let me make sure I get this right, drip pricing. I'm not familiar with that term. Um, what is that? What well, can apply to any kind of thing you're kind of trying to book as far as travel, but but the most common would be like um, a hotel or a resort rate that is really low. And it seems like, oh, but that's not the whole cost. Okay, so may, maybe a base base cost, but then there's a resort fee added on there. If you, you know, um, a check-in fee, a, they keep adding on the prices. So they kind of um, kill you over time, you know, and by the time, if they just had had the whole rate with all the taxes and all the fees in there, 
you would have been able to make a better decision because as far as comparing. So you always need to read the fine print. You need to understand exactly what is and isn't included in the rate that's being quoted to you. Okay, all great advice. So many hidden fees and really it can add up. Oh, it does add up, absolutely. And we all spend a lot of money once we get to our destination too. Yes. So, um, so what happened, one more question, what happens if something bad happens, uh, you lose your passport, you get sick, you can't make it on your trip? What advice do you have for that? Well, I would say if you have the opportunity to book travel insurance, that will cover you if you get sick, that will help you in transit if you need to get back home. Okay. Um, that absolutely will, will always help, you know, if you can have that in place. I always say if you're traveling where you have to have a passport, have an extra a copy of it, if, you know, oh. that you keep somewhere on your person or somewhere safe that on the off chance that you actually lose your actual passport, you have a way that you can pull it. And if you're out of the country, go to the U.S. Embassy and now you've got all the information that you need. But you've got to keep, you know, again, you've got to keep that secure. Um, mm -hmm. If you lose your ID, your driver's license, um, you know, it, it doesn't mean TSA won't let you through. It just means you better get there early. You better be able to prove who you are, have a bill, have mm -hmm. something else with your address on it. Um, that they can figure out that you are who you say you are. So it can be a real hassle to do that. So anything you can do to mitigate, you know, protect your information, you know, protect your credit cards, um, protect your IDs, that kind of thing is, is going to help you. All right, Julie Wheeler, always so much good advice, <laughs> practical advice, so that we don't get, you know, fleeced out of money we weren't planning on Well, spending. we want to we spend it on our vacation. Exactly. On the fun stuff, not, oh. not the not fun stuff. And I know you. You're like me. We need some shopping money once Absolutely. we get to our destination. That's important. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Julie Wheeler, yes. Wheeler with the Better Business Bureau.